So of course we still have cinemas, but we have smartphones or iPads or TVs, and you could you could watch alone or with your friends. Using your time, and you can select what you want to, when you want to. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's quite obvious from a trailer like that, and also from uh, what you did in the past, that uh, your career, your work, uh, is influenced a lot by cinema and by uh, literature uh, as well. Um, and I think that um, you've prepared for us like a little uh, introduction, a little はい. explanation about uh, the history of cinema and storytelling. So movies and games were totally different. It was like water and oil. But now it's coming together. And I just want to kind of briefly go about it. And I know that everyone's a professional in films, so I'm going to just go really quickly about it. Uh, should we put this up, please? So I just wrap this up really quickly. The diagram, please. <laughs> ゼートロープっていうのが19世紀半ばに発明されて、これあの覗くというマシンですね。ピーキング、you the base of what you were sitting in today of the cinema. And Edison actually created the same thing, but Romero brothers got more popular because the both machines were into one. And like, the, like there's movie scenes from the um, entrance of the um, so everyone was surprised about the movement. Uh, that was the big surprise at that time, that it moved. And it was black and white, no sound at that time, just the, um, the movie, the film. And everyone sat together in a big cinema and everyone watched it together. And that's the beginning of cinemas. So when cinemas opened, everyone started about business and the cinema business. And we're like 120 minutes, uh, 120 years. And people had to think about two hours, how we make money in the two hours, or the mechanism of how we make people buy popcorn, you know, things like that. So the creators had to think about um, the storytelling in two hours. So let's go on the bottom side. So after the movement, it was supposed to be with, there was no sound, so you had to kind of like put more actions to it to be entertained. So the brothers went everywhere around the world and made it into a film. So that was fascinating. And then Chaplin and Keaton came on. And then became then came the talkies. So the movies now had sound and people would talk in the movies. And Technicolor, well, color came in. And it went into digital. And now you could see that it's 3D and Avatar. So the technology of the film changed film itself. However, it hasn't changed the form of everyone gathering together in a cinema and watching it together. About like two hours. So let's look at the top. It's the genre that I kind of generalized. The trip to the moon. This is the first VFX or SFX that was made. It was the movement that was had to be special. And of course, he colored it. Basically, it's black and white, but he colored a little. And then came stop motion of King Kong. Sorry, my script goes blank right now. So, oh, there it goes. 
こう見えないんでてこれ。Well, I can't watch behind me right now. アニメが出てきて、ジョーキセン・チャーリーとかですね、like、Willy, ミッキー・マウス、ジャスティン・ボート、これやっぱり動き、And Mickey Mouse. And it's all movement. 動きです、基本。CG とか、まあ、出てきてと、あの白い木もそうですね。And Snow White, because it was animation. はい、で、この後映画は、まあ、続くんですけども、so movie goes on. I, I love how you... Pass from Avatar to To All to Die Young. I mean, that's an interesting gap <laughs> right there. <laughs> But, Idio, know, knowing your love for, for cinema and、uh, you're obviously passionate by this, how come you didn't decide to become a filmmaker and you ended up doing games, creating games? I originally wanted to be an astronaut. Okay. <laughs> and then next. <laughs> And I wanted to be an animal protector as well. <laughs> And I wanted to be an LA kind of、uh, homicide in the homicide section in LA police force. <laughs> And then comes movie director. But there was a problem that at that time it was difficult to film. Or become an actor in Japan,、uh, film director in Japan. But at that time, computer video games were up and rising. Totally different genre to me, but I wanted to kind of select that way of being in the game industry. I've been creating 30 years in games, and now finally, after 30 years, the movies and the games are merging kind of together. I lost my dream of becoming a movie director, but now it's coming closer than ever. 